What's up, everybody? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, time and focus. And you see, we all have a million things that are competing for our time and our attention, whether it's our smartphone, whether it's our you know, family, whether it's work um, and other distractions, a million things are, are going after our time. I believe there's two types of people in this world. I believe there's people that focus on things that they can change and focus on, or those that focus on things that they have no control over, right? There are certain things that you won't have control over. Some of us are more blessed than others to have more control over their schedule, right? Um, you know, if you're working a nine to five job and you've got a clock in at nine, you've got a clock out at five, like you have less control over your schedule. But doesn't mean you have no control, right? Like there's, you know, 168 hours in a week. Um, you know, and if I tell you a little stuff, well, personal confession, I feel like in many ways, I was more productive in business when I was working out of the house 60 plus hours a week. Because when I was working 60 plus hours a week, but yet I had my eyes on the goals of what I wanted to create for my life and my family in the real estate world, I was forced to get really deliberate with my time, to get really focused with my time. There was no extra hours to play around with. So when I was working you know, on what I wanted to create for my life, it was extremely focused. It's, um, oh, what is it, the, the Parkinson's Law, I think. And Parkinson's Law, where they say, um, <clears throat> whatever you, whatever task you're working on, right, it will fill whatever time you give it. So I could write a task on my schedule today, have nothing on the calendar, and it could take me eight hours to do one damn task. You know, back when I was working, you know, crazy number of hours a week, I'd have an hour to do that task. And guess what? It would get done in that damn hour. Done. You know, and so, you know, I, I encourage you guys to take a look at your schedule, take a look at what your goals are and make sure you're honing in and focusing. And some of this can be personal stuff, too. Right. Like um, I think about this weekend for myself. My kids wanted to watch, you know, a movie. I didn't overly want to sit and just watch a movie. Um, and I said, you know what? Yeah, you guys watch a movie. I'm going to go for a run. You know, I'm always struggling to find this personal time for me to be able to fit in, you know, a little bit of exercise. I've got a Spartan race that's coming up. I can't let my team down there. I got to get my butt in shape, right? I said, yeah, you guys watch your movie. I'm going to go get my run in. And that's where I fit it in. And, you know, it wasn't on the schedule, but, you know, I was looking for those opportunities. And then when I went out running, I was like, you know what? Why don't I listen to podcasts? So I pulled up some good motivational podcasts, some good inspirational stuff, some good educational stuff, and then I got my exercise in while I was growing personally and professionally in multiple different ways. And so there's ways to get that done. There's 168 hours in a week. Focusing in on where your prime working hours are, what your prime goals are, and making decisions. Control what you can, right? And so hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that speaks to somebody. We can talk a little bit more about um, scheduling and when to schedule what items, but you, you know, got to get that focus in. So as always, I am Zachary Betters, wishing you a great day and an even better tomorrow.